on this call we uh, address a no cooling situation for an extremely elderly gentleman with uh, significant difficulty getting around as well as talking um, took a lot of work to understand him due to his condition but um, Please drive to route. the uh, the thermostat was blank and um, he was unable to uh, help himself in regards to figuring out what was going on so we will uh, show you what we got so we've got no display on the thermostat inside got a total line digital controller and so obviously we're probably going to be looking for a loss of power whether it be low voltage or high voltage we will see got a train YCC 030 looks like a 2000 so let's see what we find I got good refrigerant pressure. We got nothing. All right. Let's see what we got over at the disconnect. No visible issues. Got no voltage coming into the disconnect at all. So we're gonna go see if we can find a breaker. Got both fuses blown. So we're going to look for a reason before we put the fuses back in. See if we can find something here. Nothing there. For and change there. Nothing there. Let's see if we can find nothing there. Nothing there. And nothing there. Okay. Let's go ahead and Check those capacitors. Twelve out of twelve and a half. Pretty 
<clears throat> pretty well toasted right there. Looks like, from my point of view, that uh, we've got a couple of wires that uh, burned together. You can disagree with me if you like, but for now, I'm not wasting a compressor terminal repair kit on something that's probably grounded anyway, even though I couldn't get it to read grounded. Um, anyway, we're going to see if that'll run for now. All right, let's see what we blow up. see if the thermostat is calling or not so the thermostat is running a delay and I've done a quick test of the contactor push to get the compressor and condenser fan to run now it'll be a matter of checking it while it's running on the thermostat to see what the amp draw is and uh, if it'll run for very long that one terminal is real screwed up, so um, ultimately it ought to be replaced with damages like that and be in a 2000, but of course I can only do what the customer can afford. So we will uh, see how it runs. I'm not 100% sure I do have a compressor terminal kit, so I may be SOL and have to stick with this little repair fix anyway but we'll see how it goes at about 215 over 75 I'd say the refrigerant charge is fine <clears throat> we've got 13.6 amps Seven. While running, capacitors checked good without a load anyway. And uh, we're not doing too shabby, I suppose. Got pretty good heat. Pretty good heat coming off of the uh, condenser fan. So let me see if I've got a compressor kit. And we'll go from there. Well, would you look at that? She's a little torn up and missing one of the wires, but I think we can deal with that.